course, as soon as I start to record, the furnace kicks in. Anyway, here we are. So here's the diesel heater as I have it set up right now, just for testing purposes. Got it connected to the 12 volt battery out of my Miata, which is connected to a charger to keep it topped up. And as you'll see, I got power to the controller here. I figured out how to pair the remote. It's quite easy. You push the power button and the right direction button, hold them. OC1 will pop up, then you turn this on and it pairs. So everything on that screen is pretty much mirrored on this screen. So I can start it up with this if I want. I'm not going to right now. I will in a minute though. I'll show you guys what my plan is for this video. Um, I believe I've mentioned this before. Not sure what I'm going to do with this, but it's going to be, I want it to be somewhat portable. Um, like I said, don't know what the use is. So I don't want to be lugging a big battery around that's going to last me a day or whatever. And, and a charger if I have to, to keep it more. And then I got to plug that in, makes it less portable. What I want to do is power it off of two Ryobi batteries. And to that end, I ordered this. The first part of this is, it's a Ryobi power, like an adapter. They're mostly used for kids' toys, you know, the little powered cars that they ride in. So it just goes on the battery and then you get your power out of here, 18 volts. Now the problem is the heater won't run on 18 volts, it needs 12 volts. So part that came with that. Oh, this also comes with the connectors and a couple of few spare pieces, which I thought was pretty sweet. And it does have a nice built-in inline fuse. There you go, foam little cover. So that's pretty nifty. So we got that, we got these cool connectors. I love these connectors, they're so easy to use and they work well, and a couple of spare fuses. So we'll need those, but this is the important bit. This is my, I don't even name it out here. Anyway, it's a Tobson 180 watt DC to DC converter. It, up to 24 volt input, 12 volt, 15 amp max output. And so all it is is this red and black, those go to your battery, your Ryobi battery. These will go to the heater. So I'm gonna hook this up and we're gonna see how it works, if it works. We're just gonna try one battery for now, but my ultimate plan is to do two. And to that end, I do have another of these in this box. But for now, I'm just gonna go with one to see if it works, first of all. And the idea behind having two is I'll be able to swap one out while it's still running on another so I can theoretically go, you know, as many Ryobi batteries as I have, I can go that long. Like, as long as I have kerosene or diesel and Ryobi batteries, I have infinite heat. I know, right? Crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm gonna connect things up and we'll, I'll show you how it's connected once it's all done. If I try to do it on camera, I'm just gonna make mistakes. You guys know how that goes. When you're trying to show somebody something, everything goes wrong. I'm just gonna nip that in the bud, do this off camera and then show you when it's all done and I'll show you what I did. All right, so be right back. All right, everybody, so I've got this connected and what it is basically, like I showed you in the bottom, this is your input, 24 up to 24 volt, which I've got wired to the battery, Ryobi battery adapter through one of these connectors. You just flip the little tabs up, push your wires in and snap the tabs back down and they give you a good lock. Switch on this one, it's turned off right now. We'll just set that there and what we wanna do, see here's the connector open. So what I wanna do is connect the red to the positive of the heater. I've taken this off the battery, the car battery. Just stick that in there until it stops, push that, here's the tug. Okay, that should be good. We should be all connected. Now all we should have to do is slide the battery into the holder. Well, make sure we've got voltage at the Ryobi battery. You can see we've got four bars. Uh, now it should be as soon as I turn on the switch for that, or second after once it runs through the, the converter here, it should power up my thing, we'll see. Yes, there we go, we got 12 volts, you can see at the, uh, at the control panel. 
are we still connected here? Yep, yeah, we're paired up with this still. So let's let's fire it up. Let's turn it on and watch her go. So we're just gonna turn it on with this. It's on heat setting three. Bring you guys closer so you can take a look at what's going on with the control panel. There you go, you can see better without the, the glare. So we'll probably see some steam coming out of the heater from when it, I shut it off last time and just it cooled down and it gets condensate in there. You're supposed to leave these exhausts pointing downward so any condensate in them will run out. We've got set heat, heat seating three, which is medium. There's five or six settings. Um, what I can tell you is I did some exploring. You hit the okay button shows you what we're doing in 46 because I had it on earlier, so it's still a little warm. That's our room temperature right now in the garage, 22. The heater just kicked off. It's a little warm. I got to turn that down. So this is the internal temperature of the heater, what it, the, the air that it's putting out. It's 11 volts showing me. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be a problem. These batteries certainly should have the amperage to start it. Let's see. Takes it a couple minutes. The glow plug is, is glowing. That's what that little, you can see this little orange. Oh, there goes the pump. Okay, we got some steam coming out of here. You guys can, can you see that? I don't know if that's showing up on camera at all. There you go, you can see it like that. You look at it in the light, it's pumping out. That'll go away. That's not smoke. It's not collecting at the roof or anything. It's just steam. And normally, this is supposed to be vented outside, not just into the garage where you're breathing. So, ah, a little sucker start up. I'm just curious to see how much battery power that thing will draw. So we're, again, right now we're running on a single Ryobi 6 amp hour 20 volt battery. Step down to 12 volt with the converter there. It takes about two minutes before it'll, it makes sure and blows everything out, cleans it out. The air is out the combustion chamber before it starts igniting everything. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just babbling here to take up time. I don't know anything. I'm no diesel heater expert. I'm just learning as I go. Yeah, that smells, here, smell, smells like kerosene. Let's go, come on, any second now we should get a, a firing up here. Is it possible the battery doesn't have enough amperage to heat up the glow plug properly? But then I think I would get an error here from what I've read. We're down to 10 volts on that battery. What's up with that? Oh, it's lit. She's lit. The air coming out of the exhaust over, sorry guys, over here is now warm, which means there's a fire burning in here. Now it's gonna start dumping kerosene or diesel onto the, the burner to get, start pumping up some heat. So let's, uh. Switch this over to temperature 34. Come on. 36. That should climb rapidly. Let that run for a second. I'm going to go turn down the heat in the garage. There's no way it should be 23 in here. and I keep the house. So, yep, she's working. She's running off a single Ryobi battery. That's too hot to hold my hand over. And this is getting warm. So, and with this, the remote, I can change the temperature on the go. So let's go back to 
H3, let's turn it up. It's H4, H5. Let's see what the temperature is at now. We're at 54. Geez, that's hot. Ooh. This, I don't know what kind of fan this thing has, but it's it's fantastic. It puts out a lot of air. This thing moves a lot of air. And so this is at 62 now. I've seen them get up to 200. I mean, at some point, you're not able to hold your hand. In fact, that, that point is now I can't hold my hand within two inches of it for long. Two that should turn the pump down. It's still really hot. Eighty-four Celsius. That's what's coming out of there right now. Eighty-six. Yeah, that's hot. Okay, we're gonna shut this off because I don't need to to gas by myself. So for that, I just hit the power button here. And that goes to off. That shuts off the glow plug. You can see the glow plug symbol is off there. The fan is still going. It's still showing hot. Battery power is good. So what it does now is the fan will just keep going until the uh, heat exchanger cools down enough that it feels it's safe to shut the fan off. Just to prevent having a meltdown of everything. Now nothing in here is hot. See, I'm touching the side of the heater. I'll bring you guys in. I don't know what this plastic is, but I can put my hand right on here. And I'm like, it's, it's slightly above room temperature. If it might just be room temperature, a little warmer, closer to the front, but not hot. The back is just cool. This part is warm, but not hot. Like I can hold my hand around here. See? So I don't know. Don't know what kind of plastic it is. Not interested enough to find out. I'll leave that to better people than I. You know who I'm talking about. A certain French Canadian fella that is into plastics, not me. So there you go, that's it. Powered off a single Ryobi battery. My next test will be to power it off a two Ryobi batteries and see if I can switch it. Switch one off, run it off one. Well, I'm sure I can, knowing it runs off a of one, I'll be able to run it off a of two. This is awesome. What I have to figure out is how I'm gonna mount them. I think I'm gonna do a little welding here to build something to mount the, uh, oh, the fan's kicking on a little higher. I think it does that just before it's about to go out. Still a lot of warm air coming out of there, I tell you. So the, uh, the battery and converter were, or sorry, the battery adapter and the converter were 29 bucks. That's with the switch, the connectors, the fuses, fuse holder, everything I needed here but the Ryobi battery and the heater. So, well worth it. If you have a 3D printer, you can print your own. I printed one of those Ryobi things. Then you gotta make your little metal tabs inside. It's easier to just buy one. Save yourself the frustration. Just waiting to see how long this takes us to kick off here. In real time so you guys can see and i imagine the hotter it gets like had i let it get up to 200 degrees celsius or whatever it would take longer to cool down that's, that's science yo and really the only thing i'm smelling in the garage now is like burnt kerosene no different than when i use my little kerosene heater i've got a little perfection style heater with a wick or a kerosene lantern anything kerosene is going to smell like this only stronger this thing burns pretty efficiently. I don't know. For a cheap Chinese generator, there are some modifications I'm, I'm going to do to it before I, before it's done. I want to put some, some, some zip ties, wiring, holding the wiring in place, make sure the hoses are all good. They don't have any hose clamps. I'll put some small hose clamps on them. I just want to make sure it's idiot proof. I don't want anything to vibrate like there's wires going through holes without a grommet or anything on them. So I'm going to put some grommets on there. Keep wires and hoses away from sharp edges. 
clean up the wiring a little bit and find a way to mount my Ryobi batteries. Holy, this is taking a long thing time to cool down. I can hold my hand in front of it now, so it is cooling down. But that's still warm. I don't know if this will show me the temperature anymore. No, not when it's off, it won't. I'm also curious when it goes off, I want to see how much of that battery it ate too. Did it take it down a bar or are we still at four? These are the things I need to know. The converter is still cold to the touch, not even warm. That's something I wanted to know. Must see TV, right folks? I'm doing this in real time so you guys can see how long it takes. I could just run a timer and edit the video, but I won't. And this air coming out of here has no smell whatsoever. There's no kerosene, no Devo, no burning smell, nothing in that. That's just the air. It's raw air coming from the back, going past the heat exchanger and out the front. It doesn't The air coming through here doesn't touch the combustion process. Fan is slowing down. It's going to shut off. Way down. I, I can't shut the battery off until the fan stops completely. Because as, as I mentioned, we're gonna, there we go. She's done. Still showing 12 volts. So that works. We'll shut the battery off here, which, here. Shut the battery off, which should shut off the control panel. There we go. Take the battery off of there totally. We burnt one bar. I'm going to guess, I mean, this battery has been sitting on my shelf for a while, so it probably wasn't 100%. Uh, the glow plug, firing it up takes way more power than running. I believe I read, a guy tried it with the Milwaukee battery, and he said the glow plug, every time he started it, was taking one bar, whereas he could run it for six hours on one bar once it's up and running. Don't know how accurate or how that transfers over to Ryobi battery, but... We'll see. I have more tests to do. This was just to make sure this would work. Now I need to try it with two, possibly three batteries and find a place to mount them. Because there's there's no place inside this, this heater. They didn't they didn't give you any spare room. There's no no place to put these in here. So yeah, I will have to work that out. I might have to build something onto the side or on top. I don't want to make it any wider than it is, so if I do, I'd put something on top. Possibly underneath. I don't know. We'll see. But when I know, you guys will know, and you'll see it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, send me money, all that stuff. Anyway, take it easy. See you later, guys.